So here's what I'm going to have you do tonight. For some of you, this is speaking to your heart. You need, you need to leave here today and think of all the people that you haven't forgiven or where your past hurts are. And anyone that you're bitter toward. You know, sometimes we think, no, no, we forgive them, but that's because they're not around. <laughs> the, true, the true test of forgiveness is when they're in your presence. Can you be okay with what they did? Some are easier than others, right, guys? But you know everything. This is what I want you to write down. I want you to start taking inventory of what it is that's left unprocessed in you. You're going to need to heal from that. One by one, you're going to need to heal from that. You know, one of the ways that I heal, for those of you, uh, that, that uh, it's called soul soaking. How many of you heard of soul soaking before? Okay. So here's the thing. I'll give you uh, uh, someone who's got really good soul soaks. Her name's Katie Souza. Uh, Katie's K-A-T-I-E. Souza is S-O-U-Z-A. She has a lot of audios and MP3 on her website. Uh, and it's, it, it's, it's, it's Katie Souza Ministries, I believe. And she has one on bitterness that's really powerful. And she'll take you through different activations to heal from those hurts inside. I'll tell you another really cool way that heals it. Praise and worship. Because the presence of healing happens through praise. Isn't that incredible? There's a power that starts healing you, diffuses into your soul as you start praising and worshiping God. I'm going to give you a couple of more. I'm going to give you a couple more. Stillness. Some of you, when things get crazy, you get busy. You do the exact opposite because you want to control something. So you're like, I can't control anything going on in my life. At least I can control cooking and cleaning and doing this and doing that. So you run around and start cleaning everything. Let me give you some, some really important information. That's just distracting how you're really feeling. It's a distraction. So what do you do instead? Oh my gosh, you sit in stillness in nature. Mm -hmm. Why nature? Because everything's praising God and being around that is going to be healing for you. Amen. Did you know everything in the world is praising God? Yeah. Trees, yes. grass. Mm -hmm. So if you're around that, mm -hmm. ah, you just be part of that healing. Mm -hmm. And it gives you the time to tell your mind to stop. Relax, mm -hmm. be still, mm -hmm. be still. Be still and know that I'm God. Stillness is extremely important. We live in a hustle bustle world and so many times we don't take time to do it. I'm giving you the things I do on a daily basis that allow me. When I put my hand on someone, I want to be the best vessel for God to use. Because you know what we're talking about is the healing of the soul. And you know, in, in, in science, the, the, the soul is made up of many parts. I want you to understand the soul is made up of what we call the mind, the conscious and the subconscious. What else is in the mind? The intellect. What else is in the mind? The reasoning mind. What else is in the mind? The memories. What else is in the mind? The desire centers, called the amygdala. Passion centers, called the amygdala. This is all the mind. So, but the soul is also made up of what we call the will. The ability to make your own decisions. It's also made up of your emotions. Well, where, where are the emotions get stored? A lot of times they get stored in your body. The vibration of emotions affect your body. Remember we said there's a certain vibration that's healthy? You ever notice like somebody, sometimes you can look at somebody and say they're heavy. But you know that's not all just a, a food. You know there's heaviness from emotion. Because what they shove down deep with their food is still in there. All those emotions are still causing a block and it creates heaviness. Heaviness. Sometimes people that carry uh, a lot of responsibility have heaviness. Isn't that right? Because it's like, if you got no responsibility, it's easy to be light. Remember when you were a kid and you're like a teenager, you got no responsibility at all. It's like, oh, yeah, everything's great, you know? And then you got like one thing, one thing, one thing, and now you got all these responsibilities. How do you stay light through that? That's that. That is the key. How do you stay light serving others and taking on responsibility? And what I'm giving you is the strategies that are necessary to do it. Number one, the foods that we eat. Number two, salt soaking. Number three, praise and worship. Number four, prayer. Number five, service. Number six, staying in stillness. You know, before I came into this room, I was in the car. Sometimes, I'm, I'm, sometimes I wonder if anyone looks at me in the car. Because, you know, I'm in the car, I'm like staying still, and I might be listening to some praise music. I, I'm doing all these things to get ready to serve the people I'm about to serve. 